most exciting cultural opportunity I think that's happened in the city for many, many years. And here I am with Andrew Pearson from uh, Fruit. What's your role in Fruit? I'm one of the co-directors of Fruit right. with myself and a gentleman called Dave Mays, who is the owner of the Welling Eye Club. And what exactly is Fruit? Fruit's um, it's an exhibition and uh, art space, basically. It's uh, an old fruit warehouse um, that we've converted. We put a, a bar and toilets in, but other than that, it's a complete open space that we can present a number of different creative activities from theatre to music, comedy, um, indoor markets, and also have exhibition space. We're opening for the Clipper uh, weekend, which is 17th of July, and then we're going to be tweaking and working throughout the summer. Um, we've got quite a few events during the summer. We've got two markets. We've got a fashion market and an independent traders market, so you'll be able to browse amongst flower stores and bookstores and, um, and artwork. And uh, we're going to be starting our sun-up Sundays, which are going to be between 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, uh, when you can come down and have a cup of coffee or a Bloody Mary and read the papers and chill out and relax, and hopefully sort of get used to the area, because uh, it's a beautiful area of the city down by the marina during the summertime. Um, so there's lots of activity happening during the summer, and then from September we're going to officially launch with a proper programme of theatre and uh, film seasons as well. So we're going into uh, uh, interleague with whole film, who are going to be presenting um, art cinema, world cinema, um, you know, uh, again, something we didn't feel that there was very much of, of in Hull at the moment. And uh, why did the uh, fruit market regeneration, what does it mean to you? Um, it, it means that the most exciting cultural opportunity, I think, that's happened in the city for, you know, for many, many years. Um, that there's a, a real chance that we're, we're growing it from the ground and up. There's other people getting involved. There's uh, quite a few art spaces, uh, sculptors, um, jewellery makers. There's uh, something opening up Museum of Club Culture. Um, and these are all people who have a passion for, for their subject and they're getting the opportunity, you know, in, in a very difficult financial climate to be able to give the city a real cultural destination. So hopefully this will allow people from within the city and visitors to come and uh, have a, a, you know, a really exciting area to come and visit. So yes, if you want to get in contact, um, then we can, uh, you can either visit the Fruit website, which is uh, fruitspace.co.uk, mm -hmm. um, or you can visit the company website, which is ensemble52.com, um, and on the websites you can find out all about what's happening in the building and book tickets. Excellent. Thank you, Andrew Pearson. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm here with Simon and Jane on Hunter Street from Kingston Art Group. Uh, tell me, what are we doing on, on Hunter Street? Well, is this an opportunity for artists to take over an area, a really interesting area of Hull? And because of the recession, the original plan, development plans have um, been postponed. Uh, so this is an opportunity for sort of creative industry, studio groups and other um, companies, that kind of thing, to move into a really interesting part of the city and to try and develop a kind of creative quarter really. So as part of Kingston Art Group, you know, we want to be part of that um, move. So how long has uh, Kingston Art Group been going? Uh, the group uh, originally started in uh, 1989 uh, in a building off the Hessel Road. Um, we moved to a building in the city centre of Bull where we presently based our model. And so what actually does Kingston Art Group do? Uh, we provide uh, a studio of workspace for visual artists working in the city. And uh, currently we have 15 studios and 17 members within the group. Um, and why did you choose uh, this area? Why did you choose the uh, food market? Uh, because of a number of uh, other groups in the city who are using this as a, a central point of focus and uh, collectively by being in the same street, I think it gives uh, a greater presence in the city uh, that uh, before there may be a sense of uh, isolation by bringing different groups together. Um, it sort of magnifies the presence, gives a greater um, accessibility and presence in the city. Because I know we've been existing for 21 years, quite often people don't know that there is an art studio group in Hull, because Simon says we're often quite far away, so this is an opportunity for some of the members, not all of us can be moving here and 
know, some we're going to expand, and some of the members are going to be here, and that's going to be a kind of focal point for the for the whole group. Um, yeah. So you're going to go this weekend. Yes, we're going to open up the building um, to coincide with the Clipper race, the, the, you know, the final of the Clipper race. And quite a few of the uh, buildings have been going to be opened up this weekend, so we're going to put on an exhibition of artist work right. in the building, so that will be open Saturday and Sunday this weekend. And people will be able to come in and, and view that work? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. What sort of work uh, will, will we have to see? It's, um, it's painting, sculpture, and also some site specific work as well. Responded to the space itself, so it's a mixture of those kind of art forms, really. So, it's a very interesting, uh, yes. uh, interesting exhibition. Brilliant. And how can people get in touch with you? The artists can visit our website at kingstonartgroup.co.uk and email from there and view existing members' work in the gallery, online gallery. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.